as far as plants, I was always fascinated with plants and growing things. As a four-year-old, I would take the dried beans, like pinto beans, and plant them in the house. And then I had them growing and then making a bean. And then I take that bean and so as a parent and then starting another bean. And then I had the grandparent and the parent and the kids. So I was making families of beans. Um, so I was probably family related, but also I loved growing and watching the pods come up um, and the flowers and how that process or that progressed um, to the seed. Um, and when I went to college, um, my first year, I took a peanut plant. Now, you know how peanuts grow? They grow under the ground. And you think, well, they're a nut, they grow on a tree, but peanuts are a nut that is actually a legume and it grows under the ground. So if you dig down under a peanut plant, you'll see the little peanut, like really um, in shell and everything. So I would have that in my dorm room and it, you know, awkward me. Um, you wanna see my peanut plant? Um, come in here and ding down in here and it's so fascinating. People were like amazed that this peanut grew underground. So that was always wanting to show people what plants could do and how, how they were. And I collected a lot of house plants. Um, that was always my thing. And then at um, University of Kansas, they had allotments, um, which was rare for a university in the 70s. And I got an allotment, a 30 by 30 space, and I started growing my own, my own garden. That was my first own space. Um, and it was mostly interna international students. And so I was learning from them, um, um, really good growers, really unusual vegetables. And that became the love. And every, everywhere I moved, I had to put a garden in um, and keep my hands in the dirt and, and grow plants and see what they do.